door in room 14. It's a quick check for an assessment. Are my students getting the gist of what I'm teaching? Each number is a, a correlated to the student's attendance. I will pose the question. They have a quick sticky. They will write and they strictly simply post next to their number. When they leave, I will come in, do a quick assessment. All the ones that are dead on, I leave. The ones that are wrong, I might remove or I might reverse that after I look at the gist of who's getting it, who's not getting it. And in this case, I have student one and nine. These are the only two students who got the gist of my lesson. So this tells me as a teacher, I have to stop and go back and reteach his whole class because my students did not get it. And I have to slow down and dig deep and not try to cover so much. So this is a, a, my communication skill with my students. Now, in reverse, if I only, if I decided after looking that student one and nine were the only ones who didn't get the gist, then the following day, one and nine, I would pull to the side and everyone else, we will continue on. So this is how I decide whether it's a whole class reteach or this is a small group intervention the following day with me. With me. These kids actually nailed it. These kids could tell me that, persuade, that argumentative fell under persuasive and they could tell me that persuasive writing had to have a claim, had to have a counterclaim, it had to have a rebuttal, and that it, you have to uh, back it up with proof. So what I would do is I would let them know that tomorrow when we're doing activities, when I say I have student helpers, these kids right here could get up and they could assist table groups and working with others. Um, Ticket Outdoor helps students because they can um, let the teacher know that they didn't understand and let the teacher help them tomorrow um, to review what they learned yesterday. And I think it helps the teachers because they, um, they know that the students are understanding or they're not understanding. When a lot of kids get it and only a little bit don't get it, she pulls those kids aside and um, helps them individually to understand the lesson. When most of the class doesn't get it, Ms. Huffman usually repeats the lesson over again so we can make sure that she, we get the lesson. Now, does she teach the same or different? She teaches the same thing because we didn't get it. But does she teach it the same way or does she change it? Oh, she changes because she realizes that um, the way that she's teaching us, we don't understand it. I think Ticket Out the Door helps students and teachers by um, the teachers by letting know how many kids didn't understand it and the students letting the students know that that how they should understand it and how that how they um, would need to like help their own self get it. I think um, Ticket Out the Door helps students because it helps them review what they learned um, during the day and then I think it helps teachers because that way they know what students paid attention or who needs more help. When, when few students um, answer correctly for the ticket out the door, um, they become our teacher's helpers and our teacher has to review the whole, the whole lesson all over again. When only a few people miss the question, our teacher starts our our teacher starts a new lesson with the few people that with the people that did get it and with the people that she did it she she asked them to um, she has like a learning group with them on the side of the classroom and she teaches them what we learned yesterday or the day before that um, I think that Miss Huffman's exit ticket is good because it's beneficial because it helps students that don't understand what Miss Huffman taught that day it understands it helps Ms. Huffman understand that that student needs help and she can have one-on-one -on, one -on -one time with that student. Has, did, has there been times where you perhaps uh, didn't get the problem? That you didn't get it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, there's been times where I didn't understand it, but yet Ms. Huffman, was there's, there's always somebody to be there to help you.